Hi friends, how are you all? Today I have yet another story of Dr. Seuss. And the title of this story is The Tooth Book by Dr. Seuss, written as Theo Wasek, illustrated by Joe Matthew. It's a very funny story, and I'm going to ask you some questions at the end. So listen very carefully, okay? Let's begin. Who has teeth? Do you have teeth? Oh, you do. Okay. I have teeth. Well, look around and you'll find out who. You'll find that red headed uncles too. Policemen do, and zebras too, and unicycle riders do. And camels and their drivers do. Even girls named Ruti all have teeth. All roots are toothy. You find them everywhere on mountain tops and in the air. And if you care to poke around, you'll find them even on the ground. You'll find them east, west, north, and south. You'll find them in a lion. Hey, I'm, I'm turning into a lion. And look at my teeth. <sighs> I can eat you. Teeth! They are very much in style. They must be very much worthwhile. They come in handy when you chew, says Mr. Donald, this called chew. That's why my family grew a few. They come in handy when you smile, says Smiling Sam the Crocodile. They come in handy in my job, says High Trapezer Mike McCobb. If I should ever lose a tooth, I'd lose my wife, and that's the truth. Teeth come in handy when you speak, says news broadcaster Quincy Quick. Without my teeth, I talk like ducks and only broadcast quacks and clucks. You're lucky that you have your teeth, says a sad, sad snail named Simon Snip. I don't have one. I can never smile like smiling Sam the Crocodile. <gasps> Clams have no teeth, says Pam the Clam. I cannot eat hot dogs or ham. No teeth at all, says Pam the Clam. I cannot eat roast leg of lamb or peanuts. Pizzas, popcorn, spam, not even huckleberry jam. Without teeth, we can't play trombones, says a jellyfish named Jimbo Jones. I have no teeth. 
says Hilda Hen. But women do, and so do men. So I have happy news for you. You will go to set, set one, set two. You will lose set number one, and when you do, it's not much fun. But then you grow set number two, thirty-two teeth, and all brand new, sixteen downstairs, and sixteen more upstairs on the upper floor. And when you get your second set. That's all the teeth you'll ever get. So don't chew down trees like beavers do. If you try, you lose set number two. And don't be dumb like Mr. Claus. Don't break your teeth untying knots, and don't be dumb like Caddy Clops. Don't try to chew off bottle tops. Don't gobble junk like Billy Billings. They say his teeth have fifty fillings. They sure are handy when you smile, so keep your teeth around a while, and never bite your dentist when he works inside your head. Your dentist is your teeth's best friend. Bite carrot sticks instead. Okay, now it's question time. First question: There are two animals in the story have no that have no teeth. And guess it? Tick tick one, tick tick two, tick tick three, tick tick four, tick tick five. If you said Simon Sneed the snail, you're right, and it's also Hilda. The hand. Great job, guys. Okay, next question. How many teeth do we have? Tick tick one, tick tick two, tick tick three, tick tick four, tick tick five. And guess this, guys. If you said thirty-two, you're right. Sixteen downstairs. And sixteen upstairs, right here. And sixteen plus sixteen equals thirty-two. That's all for today. Hope you like my story. If you like my story, please subscribe my YouTube channel. See you later. Bye.